Well, hello folks. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you're new, welcome to our little homestead. Today, Heather and I need some two by fours and uh, maybe some one inch later, we're building shelves in the basement. So that's what we've been up to. So this here, we were gonna use this for two by six, but I figured, well, we're going to cut that down and turn it into two by fours and two by twos. So we're gonna do a little work in the basement and we'll show you what we're up to. Follow along, hope you enjoy.
right. We are in the basement. So Heather and I started on this. Boom, boom. Hopefully it'll be solid. Eight foot. So we're going to do this eight foot section. And then once that's done, then we're going to continue all the way along. But I notice here, look at this. Check, check this out. That is moisture trying to come up through the floor. I don't like that. I wouldn't be surprised if we're gonna tear around the outside this summer maybe and do some more, do, do some proper drains if we can afford it this time. We built a basement, we couldn't really afford the gravel and stuff, but I think eventually I'm gonna tear it all up. I mean, it's not bad in here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it wet, but, but that's getting damp. Like you can see where it starts to seep in. It doesn't get any worse than that. Right here, you see a little spot starting here as well. Uh, there's a little bit of moisture there, but that's about all it gets. Still, I would like to tear it up and I would like to go around the whole house and do proper drains, um, parge the outside. I didn't put any seal bond on the outside and I probably should have parged the, the wall. I mean, we don't get nothing coming through here, not this spot. That's good, so, uh, but anyways, I'd like to do that before we build our deck and make it permanent. So once the deck's on there, we can't tear that up without, without tearing the whole deck off. So, and then we, Heather and I want to do a, a nice skim coat, maybe two inches of concrete, an inch or two inches, whatever it'll take to smooth this floor out nice. And then we'll paint the floor and then we may parge the walls, um, smooth it out and maybe put some ceramic tile on the basement walls down here. That's what we're thinking about doing. But for now, we want to get some shelves built and get some of our, we have uh, a lot of containers of stain brand new that Heather's dad gave us. So we want to get this down here and I want to start setting up some of my, like put some of my uh, router bits and whatnot I've had around for years. It's been just put in vehicles because I've had no real place to put them. So uh, we'll do that. We'll put it down here. And uh, yeah, some of the tools we use for building our stools because that seems like people want a lot of those stools. So <clears throat> we've been busy at making those stools as well. And we've always wanted shelves down here so Heather could put some, like she's got her preserves, she keeps in a little shelf down here, plus she has some in the pantry up there. It'd be nice to be able to take some out of the pantry up there and bring it down as well. Now we do have two electric freezers, deep freezers, whatever you want to call them, chest style freezers down here going. But uh, it'd be nice to have some shelves down here, that's all. So uh, with that said, I am going to, Heather don't trip in our fall. So these are the two by fours that, that we milled. These are just, uh, I don't know if you call them cleats, but that's where the uh, shells will sit on. Already got my lines, I'm building the shells two foot apart. put a line here, a level line across here. So I'm just gonna line that right up there. And then that up there. I left enough room to under these shelves as well at the bottom. So when we go to trim the bottom off, when we put our floor, it'll still sit great. We'll still have enough room under the bottom shelf put stuff under there if we want to later on. I want to make sure that's uh, sitting good. Oh yeah, that's pretty perfect. If I do say so myself. Beautiful. I like it. This is my old Bosch torpedo level I used to use when I did uh, fitting as a welder. But the one thing I did is I lost the cap somewhere that holds the battery in. I look online and you, I don't think you can just, I don't think you can order just that 
end piece to hold the batteries because it has a laser in it. I can't use the laser now because I don't know what happened to that end piece. But I think I'm going to take another look. Maybe I'll have to buy another torpedo level, but it's nice, it's aluminum. Plus it's got magnets in it. So it's nice. Plus it'll fit on a tripod for a laser level. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's nice having that sawmill. I tell you, if you need, if you're doing something like this, if you need two by four or something, you just go out there and fire that up and mill your own. Now I think most of you know why the walls look so rough in here. <clears throat> Heather and I, like a lot of you folks know this, but Heather and I poured this ourselves with a five gallon pail. We mixed the concrete in a mixer, but we carried the concrete in in five gallon pail. So we made our forms four feet high and we stapled plastic on the, on the OSB inside and where the plastic went wrinkly, that's what happened. But we wanted to be able to use the OSB later so that's why you stapled plastic on it. So we did a four foot lift, we did a four foot section, and then once that was done, we took those forms off, we built just a studded wall with no sheathing, and then we set that section up on top and did the other four foot in a separate pour. Now we don't get any liquids, come, we don't get any moisture coming through where, where it was joined, which is good. Oh yeah, you can still see that. That's when the, that's when the plastic, I guess he heated up. So when we went to put the t when we went to put the uh, tar on the outside, it was so slippery from the wax on it, I guess, or the oils. The tar wouldn't stay on the outside of the wall; it just slipped. But we don't get we don't really get any water coming out there. What I worry about is the water when it's really wet. We get water like that seeping up through. You can see that, but that's about as bad as it gets in there. It's about as bad as it gets. But I wanted. I want to fix that this summer, I think. Yeah, we may end up building, like we may end up building like a, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do down here to be honest with you. It really just, it's just a spot to hold our, our water pump, our hot water heater electrical panel, two chest freezers, our wood stove. Oh, our batteries too. But eventually they, the batteries will go out into another building. And so will our, we will build a power distribution center. But let me show you here. Give me a bit. So this here, that is our hydro panel I put in here. Well, I call it hydro panel. It's, a, it's an electrical panel. I call it hydro because our electricity used to get, well, still does, but not for us. It, 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 the electrical company up here is called Ontario Hydro because it's hydro is uh, produced through uh, water turbines through dams up here. But we didn't want to go that route anymore. We did solar, so and as I ended up putting those two plugs, I don't have the fronts on them yet. This here is our hot water heater. And it works, and that's another water pump I got. I have to hook up. I'm not sure what they're like. That's a stainless steel jet pump there. That is the water pump we use right now there with that tank. But, uh, it, well, that's not wet either, by the way. That's just, I don't know why that on that wall looks dark, but that's just concrete. It just looks dark. Same as down over there. It's not wet. I mean, you can see it's white powder down in there. But this is what we want to do. We want to get this cleaned up. So we have a spot to put this, like this is a ceiling fan. I believe your dad gave it to us, right Heather? Yep. Yeah, Heather's dad gave it to us, but we really have no place to put it. So, well there's those two chest freezers we use. There's one there, another one here. Plus we have an electric refrigerator upstairs we use. And it would be nice to be able to put stuff like say, that water, that, that drill press when I'm out using it maybe set it somewhere as well so it's not in the way and I want to clean out some of that stuff under the shelf there and, and clean that bench up as well. You know, that old bench I want to take out of here now that we'll have these shelves. But uh, yeah, that's how the that's how the floor is. A little, little, another little moisture spot there, but it's nothing, 
Nothing serious, I mean, yeah, it never gets any worse than that. But the one corner does, it gets, it gets uh, not so good, but like I say, we want to dig up around the outside of this and fix this this summer. But we built this place, it didn't cost us a whole lot of money, which is what I liked. Anyways, we're going to get these, we're going to get the rest of these, if you call them cleats, braces, brackets, whatever. We're going to get another set done right here, another three of them. And we're going to start putting our shelving material on there. First, we have to go make it. All right, folks. Well, that's what we ended up getting done. We put that stain on the shelf here, along with some of my batteries and a couple drills I have. I'm using that one still. Hung up some paintbrush and some rollers that I had here. I finally did get a set of those step bits a long time ago. Haven't used them yet. Some extensions and I just put some, a few kits up there that I had around. And that spare laser engraver is up um, behind here. Yeah, that's it. The spare one's back there in that cardboard box. Just a few kits, my little router table, router bit set. Um, yeah, so that's it for this evening, I guess. Tomorrow we are going to try to go at it and do another row of shelves here. So that we didn't want anything fancy, we just wanted to to get stuff put away. Because a lot of this stuff was just sitting on the floor down here. We're gonna end up building this shelf all the way along there once we clean up that bench and it goes out. So, yeah, it's nice to be able to have this set up down here. Now, I also have to set the thickness planer up on a shelf as well. Uh, the drill press, I guess it'll sit somewhere else. The, the, all, most of all this stuff is going to go out into the, the pole building later anyways. And Heather can use this for her pantry to put her food in. But for now, we have that taken care of. We just have to continue at putting some of my stuff away because I have a lot of stuff upstairs that really could come down here. Stuff I don't want to put outside in case it gets wrecked. So, so we have some of that flooring that we use that's left over from when we did the house here. We still have another good part of a roll of uh, underlay. And then we have boxes of this that has some solar stuff in it. So, anyway, that's how it's going. And here's one of Heather's little racks full of preserves. She's got quite a lot of preserves, but they're upstairs right now. But they, they're in her pantry, but they'll eventually all get brought down later. Eventually, I have to go out it too and staple up these wires when I wired the house here. I have to get some staples. I have the staples here. I just haven't put them in yet. But, uh, yeah, we have the freezer. We have the generator running there right now, so... The freezer here, we just plug it into the generator. Of course, I made a wet spot here too because when we brought in those two by six, they were covered with snow. So they started dripping on the floor. That'll dry up so fast down here. It's unbelievable because it is pretty warm down here. So, alrighty, well, just a little more. I put some discs over there. Like I say, this isn't staying here. This is going out once the pole building's built. But I put a few more things down in here. Um, that's just about everything. A few more little tools there and then that's it. Everything will be all put away nicely. Which is what I like. I like it neat. I, I, I want it neat, I should say. Yeah. So, there's the hinges we use for the cupboard doors. And there's a handle we use, so I wanted to put that there as well. But, uh, yeah, that's how it's looking. Okay, well, we hope to talk to you tomorrow, folks. You take care and have a great evening. Bye-bye, all.